Hey YouTube, I'm just making a short video here um, showing you how to customize your desktop uh, and increase RAM later down the road. Here is how to do it. First of all, sorry about that. First of all, go to your start start button, whether it be probably the uh, Vista Start Orb or the uh, little box that you have for uh, XP or whatever the start orb for Windows 7. Just click on that. Go right click on my computer. Click Properties. Go to Advanced System Settings. Go to Performance tab and go to Settings. Um, this is probably what you should have clicked off. And right now, this probably only applies to Vista users because some of the um, options here aren't available to XP users. So it would probably be just for um, Vista and Windows 7 users. So if you want to pause be, um, right here and just uh, click these settings, and then uh, you should be good. What you what you just need to click off, uh, click, sorry, click, is uh, first of all you would probably have this. What you want to do is adjust per, for best performance and then click custom. Now what you want to do is click animate windows while mi uh, minimizing and maximizing. Enable desktop composition, which is like these uh, the Vista uh, windows, the transparent windows. Also, it works uh, with the transparent glass. So when you when you have the, both those clicked, it'll have uh, the transparent glass behind it. Um, you don't need shadows behind anything. That's shit. <laughs> Show thumbnails instead of icons. Now this is optional. Uh, this is optional because if you have a lot of pictures, which I don't, but if you have a lot of pictures, uh, five stars for the hot girls. <laughs> but uh, um, if you have a lot of pictures and you don't want to see like this, for example, hold on. My computer might look like Windows ninety five. Yes. Anyway, when you have uh, when you don't have that clicked off, you'll see this. Now, for me, I don't want to see that. I want to see the preview so I know what picture I'm clicking. So therefore, click show thumbnails instead of icons. Next one is show translucent translucent selection rectangle, which is just if you want to see this box, then by all means don't click that. If you want to see the blue selection rectangle, because it's pretty. Um, click uh, click that off. Uh, show Windows content while dragging. I'm sure all of you want this because you'll probably just see this box when you're dragging shit, and I don't like that uh, personally myself, and you probably won't either. But depends again. If you don't like the features Windows has, then who gives a crap and just uncheck it. But if you do, then check it. Uh, next one is smooth edges of screen fonts. That's just better fonts because some of them you can't read or like here, you can barely see this one because it's behind Megan Fox's ass and you can't see anything because it's white and the writing is right white. <laughs> so, you, um, no, uh, use drop shadows for icons and labels. This is if you have Vista or Windows 7. When you uh, hover over a desktop item or icon rather, um, or click it, you will see a uh, translucent translucent uh, rectangle or um, square around it that's always nice and then the last one is use visual styles which is basically this turning Windows 95 into Windows X no Windows Vista and Windows 7 and just give it a second and there you go that's all you need to do and then click apply and then click OK and then OK on this window and basically that's all. You probably saved about, um, I'd say, 50 megabytes of RAM in there. But you know what? It might not seem like a lot if you have like three, two, two to four gigs of RAM. But you know what? Uh, it all adds up in the long run. And if you keep doing, if you find different things on your own, how to uh, increase the RAM, you know what? It all adds up. So that's just one step to uh, making your computer faster. Thank you guys. Comment, rate. Read for Megan Fox, read five stars for Megan Fox, and subscribe.